What's up, Mercs? It's Joe here with some more Dead State Reanimated. Last time we took down the deserters, and today we're gonna loot their place. So, let's get a move on. Alright, so first thing we're gonna check is the computer over here with some data items, and antibiotics, and MS4, pretty nice, and of course, an MRE, which is always nice to see. I always like more food. Okay, Wensmith, where is your lockpick? There it is. Go ahead and get through that door there. Let's see, we got hygiene supplies, we have medical supplies, what else, what else, what else, gas, very nice, generators with more gas, always nice to see, we got a crate over here with just some generic sprays, gas, what do we got in here, shower lockers, extra protein, some vitamins and a towel in there, a foot locker, a bunch of foot lockers, okay, so time explosive and tear gas I'll take, what do we got in this one? Antibiotics, a box of MREs, and more MREs. Awesome. Soldier's bag over here with lots of armor. I'll take the gas mask. And I will leave everything else. Okay. So let's go ahead into here. The officer's locker. Um. No. Definitely don't think that's any worth it. Ooh, the officer's foot locker. This might be worth it, though. Uh, porno magazine, box of pemmican, dog food. Oops. Oh, no, not oops. You just can't carry that. A Bowie knife. Mm. Oh, sorry, it's not Bowie. I think it's Bowie knife? I don't know. I never knew how to pronounce those. Pemmican, take that. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? A plastic trunk and a bookshelf. So we have a bunch of luxury items and a bunch more luxury items. Once with, I'm going to need your expertise to get this open. Get on in there. Surgical tools, I'll take the codeine. We have medical supplies and ooh, more antibiotics, some luxury, and a little bit of medical supplies in there too. Can't take everything though, of course I can. Ooh, wait a minute, I only have 90 pounds in this character, I think. So, he can take this, and that's it. All right, bud, you're up. Take it all. This place is actually extremely big. It didn't look that big from the outside, but wow. And I'm really glad I have somebody who can lockpick now because, God, there's so many locked doors. It would have taken way too long to lock, or to uh, break all them down. Luxury, what do we got in here? Tons of food, which of course I can't take because there's a 20 pound thing of rice in here. Holy shit. Can't take the rice. I can take those, though. All right, Vic. Can you take the rice? Whoops. Yes, you can. Let's see what's in the wine storage. Of course, it's wine. Personal cabinet with... Oh, my God. So much shit. Oh, man. Does he only... Oh, man. Is his limit 50? Yeah. Damn it. That means everyone's full. Thankfully. Did we... Wait. Did we? I was about to say, thankfully we brought the car, but I don't recall, did we? Hmm. Well, let's go see. Maybe we do have the car, maybe we don't. Let's go ahead and check. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Do we have the car, yay or nay? Wait, is there one over here? Let's see. Run, run as fast as you can! Quickly! Quickly! So, we don't have the car. Shit! Huh. Yeah, we have a horse. That sucks. Okay. I honestly thought I took the car. I can't remember, though. I couldn't remember. That's okay, though. That's okay. So, back into the shelter we go. I guess we'll end the day here. Well, should we? Mm, it's only 11. We don't need to end the day here. I think we should, though. So we got four special items, 123 food, 8 gallons of gas, 26 luxury, 4 antibiotics, and 1 data item. And Wentz with Keenly yourself real quick. Real quick there, buddy. Thank you, bunny. 
Okay, let's go inside here to the shelter storage and see what we can do about that. Let's, oh god, drop off everything we don't need. I do want to refill this a little bit though. There we go. Drop off everything else. There we go. And let's see, who else is with us? Vic. So drop off that. Bud. And... Who else did we bring? Oh, um... Fuck, what was his name? Shit, I, I honestly can't remember his name. Wow. Was it Troy? It was Troy. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, the name that I kept going in my head was Cletus. I don't know why, but yeah, Troy. That's your name. Oh god. Oh god. The camera went crazy there. Okay, so... Let me go ahead and access our mobile radio. And let's take Troy off and put him on healing, and I'll put Darlene. What are you doing? You're not doing anything. Shooting practice. Regina. Where are you? Renee. Regina's the chef, right? Yep. Put Regina back in the party, and we'll take Bud off. We'll put you on healing. And... Who else can be a chef right now? Let's just make anyone a chef. I need chef. I think. Oh man, everyone's sick. Damn it! A damn flu, man. No one can be a chef except for really not right now, at least. Really, everyone's sick. Oh man, come on. That's not cool. All right, so who should we bring with us? I'm guessing just Grant. We will put him on party duty. And I guess I'll check his gear real quick, too. That's probably the best idea to do. So let's go ahead and look. See here. Grant is right here. Let's give... Oh, wait. He has everything he needs. Okay, then I just need to edit Vic's gear, because you don't need this anymore. There we go. And... Oh, you don't need this either. Let's give you... Where is it? Tactical Vest Advanced. Actually, the SWAT gear. Okay. Wait, is SWAT gear the bulky one, or is Tactical Vest Advanced the bulky one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I think Tactical Vest is the bulky one. I'm not sure, though. No, Wensworth is this one, so this one isn't the bulky one, because I'm pretty sure Wensworth isn't bulky? Maybe he is? I can't remember. Shit. It's been a while. Let's go ahead and up our leadership. Get up. When used, knocked out companions immediately get up within 10, with 10 health. Finish them. Increase the critical damage of every party member by 50% for one round. I'm gonna get get up, even though I don't know how to use perks in this game. I'm guessing you just click on them? I don't know. I've never actually tried using perks, because I never knew how. Okay. Maybe there's, like, an ability I have to do or something. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Um, so, let's see. I think everyone else is ready to go. I didn't check. 9 AP. So, that means he isn't. Okay, so that means the SWAT gear is the bulky one, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. Whatever. That works. So, I think we can go back out today. What time is it again? Let me check. The radio. 11.54 a.m. Uh, yeah, we can go back. We should be able to hit two places while we're out, too. So that sounds like a plan. So let's go back to the old army base, and then I guess we can go to the bullseye while we're out, too. Yeah, definitely. We should have time for both of them. Because I doubt we're going to completely fill up at the base this time around. It is getting kind of late, though. Ooh. 3.10 p.m. We're probably going to get to the bullseye about... 3.30, 3.40. It's getting dangerously close, but we should be able to get home by, like, nightfall. Which isn't ideal, but it's not horrible. Let's get all the way back down into the underground. Hurry up, guys. Run as fast as you can. I would say you're burning daylight, but you're not because time doesn't advance in levels. Now, if time advanced in levels... I think that would add so much more tension to the game. I mean, it would be fucking annoying. Don't get me wrong. Not in a bad way annoying. Well, yeah, I'd be annoyed by it. But it would be such a 
like the situation would be so much more tense all the time. I mean, think about it. Every single fight you get into, every one, that could just be crazy. Because, I mean, if it's a huge fight and it lasts like a, like two hours in game time, you might not be able to get back before nightfall. Or you might be in the level so long that it becomes nighttime while you're there, while you're fighting. I think that'd be an interesting little update that they could put in. Will they ever put it in? I don't know. That'd be really cool, though. I think, I honestly think, though, even though it'd be awesome, they should make it as an option, you know, like a hardcore option, because it doesn't sound hardcore. You know, oh, time progresses while you're in the level. That's like, you know, it sounds like something that the game should have. But if that was the case, this game would be so much harder. Like, ridiculously harder. So, I think it should be on, like, a uh, little selector, you know, at the beginning of the thing. When you're choosing, like, Iron Man, you can choose to have time progress in the level. I think that'd be nice. Regina, go ahead to the cold storage. Regina, you're not wearing armor. What the fuck? Oh, shit! I didn't re-equip Regina. Oh, shit. All right, that's honestly fine. In fact, we should be able to pick up another piece of armor right here. Granted, it's going to be really heavy, but that's fine. At least you'll have armor... And a gas mask. And what else are you missing? That person also had a data mask. Did we not loot everyone last time? I thought we looted everyone. I don't think we looted everyone. Because obviously we didn't take these two things. Or these. Or these. And that. I don't think we looted everyone. Or if we did, I was just really careless with it. God. Yeah, I don't think we did, because I didn't take the data items off all these guys, which I should have, even though I don't really... Carbon fiber bat, I also would have seen that. That sounds pretty cool. I might be able to use that with Regina, actually. Even though I don't tend to... Carbon steel tonfa. That's interesting. Huh. I think that might be unique, so I'm going to take it just because... I guess I'll read the description of it. Too. Yeah, I don't think I looted these guys. Huh. That's weird. Custom crafted and carefully balanced, this club style weapon was obviously made for professional martial arts use and is best left in the hands of those agile enough to use it properly. Though light, this weapon is not only capable of delivering multiple devastating strikes, but lightning fast counterattacks. Pretty good. I don't know, it feels like I didn't loot anything this whole base. Whatever. I definitely looted everything else, but I can't believe I didn't loot the bodies. I could have sworn I did. I obviously didn't, but I could have sworn I did. So let's see. This is 30 to 50, and it uses 4 AP. This is 42 to 55, uses 5 AP. More damage by, like, a huge margin, but... I don't know, use a lot more AP. I'll use it just for now, let's see. We'll see how it is. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're done with the military base now. Let's head out. Go down to the bullseye, and then we'll check it out, see what's there. Hopefully there's a lot of good loot there, because we are relatively lightweight right now. I mean, Wenswit's full, but no one else is. Not really, at least. Regina has a few things on her. I mean, I'm expecting there not to be much resistance at this place, but who knows? I mean, there could be an entire rogue military regiment just waiting there to take us down. I mean, I don't know. Probably not, but you never know. You really don't. Let's quick save, get into the blue circle. Square, I mean circle. It's not a circle. John, it's not a fucking circle. It's a, it's, it's not, it's, well, it could be a square. Because rectangles are, rectangle? Rectangle, re no. Squares are rectangle. No. I think the prerequisites of a square is that it has four sides, which means a rectang rectang rectangle rectangle is a square, and the prerequisite for a rectangle is two sides have to be longer than the other two, which makes that a rectangle. I don't think the prerequisite for a square is that all sides have to be equal, even though usually they are. I'm pretty sure a rectangle is a square, but a square is not a rectangle. Every rectangle is a square, but not every square is a rectangle. I don't know. I don't know. I forget which way it goes. Well, whatever. We're at the bullseye. It's 356, so it's a little bit later than I anticipated. I did anticipate 340, 330, so that's unfortunate. But we're not too, you know, bad off here. Oh, shit. That's a lot of zombies, though. Wow. Wow. And it looks like someone's held up inside. Let's go around. 
Yeah, I think there's someone inside. This place is completely barricaded. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? <laughs> I should have guessed. Uh, we might be able to go around this way. Let's try this. This place is completely barricaded from the front. And usually, when it's like this, that usually means someone is located on the inside of the building. Oh, my God. There's just as many people over here, too. Fuck. In fact, there's more. All right. Go back around one more time. Let's try and do this. Also, I want to right-click a bunch. No. I thought maybe you had to right-click on them, and then maybe you'll get the, uh, the option to use that special ability right here. Get up. Yeah, I don't know how to use it. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's increase... Science! Survival? Yeah, survival. Okay. So hopefully we can just alert this zombie and not this zombie. It'd be nice. Or no zombie. Okay, yeah, just this one. That's good. That's all we need. No one else. Not you. If we don't make too much noise taking this guy out, so maybe if we kill him in one to two hits, we should be okay and we should be able to just run right through. Once with... Do your thing. Nice. Absolutely perfect, once with. And wow, that actually perfectly filled him up, too. Let's go to quick save. Yeah, so this door isn't indestructible. Usually the non-indestructible ones are not barricaded, or, well, yeah, it's usually what it is, because indestructible doors are indestructible because if you broke through them, you wouldn't be able to get through them, usually. It's kind of like a game mechanic that they're indestructible. Yeah, that one's probably. I mean, some, some indestructible doors that... Ugh, God, I can't speak. Some indestructible doors that are locked, uh, that you can lock, pick, and open, they aren't barricaded, but usually not. Hello, Clifford. Hi, how you doing there? Ugh, you broke the door. What did you do that for? I was safe and everything was mine, and... What do you want? He's got a name tag. It reads, Clifford. I'm not going to hurt you. I didn't know there was anyone here. Well, there is, and I've been doing just fine. Why'd you have to break in? I had everything perfectly planned. How long have you been here? I don't know. People stopped coming in a long time ago. They tried, but I sealed up the doors tight. Until you came. People stopped coming? What do you mean? They tried to get in, but I wouldn't open the store. They tried to make me, but I showed them. Some of them pounded on the door for hours and hours, and I just sat in here and laughed. It was pretty funny. Funny? What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. Those people were always dicks. They got what they deserved. They were going to take it, but I got it first. I was safe here, and then you... The whole door's destroyed. I just lockpicked it, actually, buddy. Now what am I supposed to do? You... You owe me. I need to go somewhere safe. I think you should take me with you. I don't like this guy. Do you have any skills aside from stocking shelves? I can shoot. Shoot guns. Never shot a person, but I bet I could. Second thought, pass. I just came here for supplies anyhow. It's my stuff and I can't stay here now. You have to. I mean, you owe me. <sighs> I bet you if I tell him no, I'm going to get minus morale. But I don't like him. He's fucking crazy. Well, he's not crazy, but... I didn't like what he did with those people. I mean, granted, if he let them in, they would have killed him. So, fine, you can come with me. Don't make me regret it. Good. Okay. Yeah. Grab a shopping cart and follow me. If I di if he didn't stop those people, obviously, we know what would happen. They would have just taken the store from him, and they would probably killed him. So, I guess he did do the right thing. If I was in his situation, and I barricaded myself inside of a, a store, and there were people trying to get in, and I had the whole store to myself... I wouldn't let him in. Because fuck that. I don't trust other people. I mean, yeah, I have an entire shelter, but that be that's because they kind of brought me in. If I was them, I probably wouldn't have trusted myself. Also, we just picked up something I don't want. We don't want insects. Thank you very much. So, fun thing about this is, I don't think the zombies can get us, so we can... Oh, shit! I was about to say, we can fucking do whatever we want because we're not going to aggro them. In fact, I don't think... There's no way this combat's going to keep going. They can't do anything. They're not going to go around the whole score. They're going to score? Store. They're going to drop aggro before that happens. There's no way they can see us in here. No. 
Nah, they're not gonna get in. Agra's gonna be dropped in a sec here. I mean, there's nothing they can- they can't see us at this point. I mean, they're probably gonna get in here, but... Agro should be dropped right now, what the fuck? Why isn't Agro being dropped? They saw me through the window, they can't do anything. Come on in. They can really go all the way around? They're not gonna break Agro? Unless they're doing that shit where then they go out of view, they can just teleport. Really? Interesting. Okay. Then, I mean, there's probably only one zombie. I'm not counting on a lot of zombies coming through. I wasn't counting on any zombies getting in, though. Let's just meet him with Wenswith and finish him off, whoever it is. Like I said, it's probably one zombie just kind of shambling back here. Oh, there we go. We broke aggro, see? I told you, they were going to fucking break aggro mid, I don't know, mid-pursuit, even though they didn't really get to us. There's no way they can keep aggro across the entire store. And with that, I think I'm going to end today's survival here. So I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.